it's, it feels good to have this buzz and, and I'm, I'm super excited, much more than I've been in, in a while. Tony, thank you so much for your time today. Before we get started, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Had a few really cold days here, minus 30 Celsius, so it, it's it's uh, <laughs> nice. It's pretty cold. It's, <laughs> it's pretty, pretty cold. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so exactly. It's been okay. Busy days promoting the album, and we shot a video the uh, previous weekend, and uh, so yeah, it's, it's busy, busy things yeah, yeah, with yeah. the forthcoming album, so it's good. Exactly, busy. exactly. Um, I mean, does it does it still after all these times? Because I mean, we're now talking about your, depending on how we count, it's your 11th, your 13th, or your 14th album. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, you know, you guys have done a lot of albums in 25 years. Um, does it still blow your mind to see that whenever you guys start a new cycle, that um, there's always this buzz quote unquote still and maybe for this album more buzz than we've seen uh in in, in the last few releases already um what's that like for you is this same old same old or is it still pretty special well some bits and pieces of it are the same old same old you yeah, know yeah. how it's gonna be there's gonna be a buzz but you know the buzz already what it's gonna yeah, be yeah, like yeah. But, but definitely, yeah, and uh, I, I would say this is our eleventh studio album, by the way. There you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there are. This is like really super cool buzz right now, especially after the first single, because mm -hmm. it was taken so well by the audience, and and people seem to love it. So that, that was uh, it took a huge load of my back. Yeah, uh, and yeah. A lot of stress was relieved after after the feedback we got, and then that was great, and then it was. Uh, it created a lot of buzz, like you said, and, and uh, so um, we are looking very much forward to the release of the album and how the people will take the rest of the songs on the album. Uh, we have two singles out now, and uh, I haven't really actually checked even how the people like the second single, the most they did. you can see. They, they did. did. That's they perfect, did. yeah. They did. It's a slightly different, but still, the album is... Uh, have you actually heard the album? I had. Uh, had the privilege of listening to the full album already. Yes. All right. So you know, there's, there's plenty of these speedy tracks. So oh yeah, first oh, yeah. I was, was by no means the only one there. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it's, it feels good to have this buzz, and uh, I'm, I'm super excited. Much more than I've been in, in a while. Let's look back just very briefly because I mentioned it. This is 25 years now of the band um, and many albums like you guys release albums like Clockwork almost um, uh, every two years at least there's a new new album. Um, are you are you a nostalgic person at all like an, a milestone like 25 years? Does that do something with you? Does that mean that you want to celebrate that or are you like, no, I'm focused on the 11th album and after that I'll be focused on the 12th album. <laughs> Uh, we as a band, as a whole, we are the worst at taking any advantage of such things like <laughs> celebrating 25th anniversary of, of, of anything or 10 years, yeah, yeah. you know, release party of, of some album or whatever. We, it, it's like bad business. It's, it's so bad. <laughs> like, like we had uh, have other people telling us that we should have like 25th anniversary tour or whatever. And, and right, right. Then, uh, so, but we just, you know, are focused on, on what's, what's happening next. But sometimes it's really healthy to uh, stop for a moment and uh, you know uh, look behind you what you've done in the yeah, past, yeah, yeah. And, and it gives you the sense of somehow achievement in a way that it, it wasn't all lost time. And Jesus Christ, you're old. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I think technically speaking, you now classify as classic rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so uh, I was 24 years old when we released the debut album, and and. 25 years celebrate in the business so yeah 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 it's, it's starting uh, to feel yeah yeah, yeah. And the danger is also that once you do this very first 20th or 25th or 30th anniversary yeah. with a band like you guys because you've released so much every year there's going to be a celebration then that you could celebrate right yeah, so yeah that exactly yeah. comes a vicious cycle for sure yeah. awesome the okay. most awful thing i think is like you know when you think when i like 
woke up musically in the, in the like mid eighties or so, started listening yeah. to bands and such. Which bands had at that point like the career of twenty five years? It's alarming. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, so, let's yeah. just you know assume that but, this is the, I, I uh, we know yeah. actually. Let's just you know go straight into this because yeah. we know that this is not going to be the last album. You you are the main songwriter, and that's an understatement um, uh, in yeah. a band because I think that the, the amount of songs that you guys have released that were not written by you can be counted on one hand. Um, but um, I. I know that you've shared in other interviews that you felt very inspired, that you were writing a lot, and that if there were no deadlines for the albums involved, you would have kept writing. So, fair yeah. to say that the next album is not going to be another five years? Uh, no, no, by no means. I don't think that this, this tour is going to be like years and years and years these days. It's, it's not that easy to tour, especially, unfortunately, North America is getting yeah. more and more challenging. Yeah because of the price of everything is going up so much yeah, like yeah, flights yeah. And, and the visas and, and fuel and everything and then yeah. you just cannot or we could actually put it on the prices of the tickets but nobody would buy them anymore right. even even as as much as we sell and then that's not enough to make it really profitable unfortunately right now yeah but yeah it's it's um, uh, I, I I believe the next album it won't take as long as the cap between uh, W and and uh, Clear Cold Beyond was. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. No, maybe two years I'd say. I All hope. right. Because I li really I enjoy writing songs and and uh, releasing these albums. Touring is just something we have to do in between. There's a theme that's coming back with everybody, every reviewer, every interviewer, and every fan is um, this feels a bit like a, you know going back to the early days and a, a revival of old school. Um, and this whole album kind of feels like this is like a comeback album of a band that never was really gone, but it still kind of feels like a bit of a comeback album. Do, do, do you feel similar? Yes, I actually do. We've been talking about going back to the power metal roots for ages, and now we are only now we are sort of redeeming redeeming ourselves and what yeah, we yeah, say yeah. with, with the many previous albums. And 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 uh, I think the biggest change here is, of course, having more speedy songs on the album, right. but also going back to uh, with Nico Carmila and Finnwork Studios with mixing thing. He was the guy who created the original Antarctica sound. Exactly. So, I think those t uh, two things together, and that that's the magic, and uh, that's the result what we have here. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, it is. Now, finally, we're back. There are more speedy songs than the singles that have been released, and obviously, the first single was the the, the most speedy song, maybe of the two. Um, but th that's not all that the album is. There is variety on this album. There are different songs. We think, you know, a song like Dark Empath, uh, the best things, and the title track as well are, are a little bit more different. But that also makes them then stand out as if the band is saying like, hey guys, pay attention. These particular songs are actually very important to this album. Is that also a, a right way of interpreting it? Yes, in a way, yeah. And uh, these are uh, different kind of songs for me. It's the salt and pepper of, of songwriting and, and, and some of the Arctic albums. Although, you know, some of the Arctic seems to be well or better known by the speedy songs. But then those are at least the loudest fans. For the <laughs> oldest who man. Want to hear those fans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oldest as well. Yeah. The ones who want to hear the speedy songs. So those guys make the most sound, uh, voice and then like rattle their rattle. And and uh, but then again, we've been doing different kind of things quite a bit yeah. along the years, and even different kind of albums. And those different songs and and styles also have their own fans. So in some point, there was like people, some people voiced their concern that is this album only going to be speedy songs? Exactly. That's yeah, what yeah. they heard a lot, and because they are going to miss the slower and the more versatile version of some of that. Yeah, but I think we managed to bring that one here as well. Uh, 
Um, now, you said earlier that, you know, I hadn't really have a chance yet to, f to check out the reaction to the second single. There was one comment that stuck with me that I thought was very nice, where somebody said, and, got, and that comment itself, I think, got quite a few like likes and comments as well. But it, uh, somebody said, Tony's voice is always so warm and comforting. And, it, and listening to Tony sing feels like coming home to a warm house. <laughs> so I thought that was, wow. that was, a, that was a nice compliment. Nice. Uh, um, yeah, absolutely. Wow. Now, not nice compliments and your your voice is warm uh we know that um but if we you know read or dig a little deeper uh the 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 themes on this album is far from you know rainbows lollipops and sunshine all the time there are some darker themes that you talk about and some songs can be both interpreted as social commentary but very personal at the same time there's a lot it seems that there's a lot of layers to all the different songs is that sounds a bit of a weird for you as the artist to use a, a fancy word idiosyncrasy where people are like oh yeah they're that band yeah they're they're fun they have fun music i can enjoy myself with music but really you guys are channeling some darker themes you know is that sounds weird to yeah. see all these people smiling when you're talking about some darker yeah. stuff it's it, that's the surface the music side of things you know when yeah. you hear the song from a distance without actually hearing the lyrics it makes you feel happy it's same thing with you know early children of bodo oh, exactly awful like really dark things there and yeah. everything and that nothing is really well <laughs> uh the being a theme this also inspires me much more the darker side of things and and like if there is a human relation cheap kind of song it's it's more likely to be the, the kind that has something awfully wrong with it yeah and things go wrong rather than you know having an eternal love and sunshine kind of thing i've yeah, tried yeah. doing that and but many i think love uh song it, it, it's it's it many uh, many to be that kind of song that, uh, that it has it's a positive, positive you and spend your life with the same person and you're still in love right from, yeah, yeah. Uh, cradle to grave, basically, and uh, but it's very difficult for me to do that, and and I'd rather I enjoy writing happy melodies that people people can sing along to. But then when I try writing lyrics, they always somehow turn into something <laughs> that I'm trying to make people cry or feel yeah, something yeah, 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 weird, yeah, yeah. or basically I, that's I try to make myself feel something at first, right. because that's the only way. Obviously, I can't even imagine anybody else getting any feels out of a song. And the funny thing is that uh, writing such darkish lyrics, I I wrote like the vast majority of these lyrics on a Latin American tour, right, sitting yeah. by the pool and <laughs> the <laughs> and under a palm tree and sunshine and everything, and, uh, and, uh, and writing such things. It was a little bit hard trying to come up with anything Arctic related at that point, but yeah, right. it it was it was fun. Different kind of approach for songwriting, definitely. There's a lot coming with this album, and yes, I think it's going to make a lot of people happy, both the people that want the old fast stuff and the people that love more the mid-tempo uh, songs as well. Uh, there's some really cool ones like the title track, obviously, on uh, on, on the album. Um, we know that you're not going to be celebrating just only the 25th anniversary of the event when you're going on the road. So um, the year has just started. There's lots of time for, for you guys to promote this album. and. We obviously are going to have summer festivals that will be a little bit more colder when you bring your snow to the stages. Um, but this year, it's going to be a busy year for you. What uh, what can we keep our eyes open for? Well, um, our touring schedule is as follows at the moment, and it's not very vast. Uh, <laughs> when the album is out, we start from Finland, and then summer festivals are just around the corner, so that's next. And then European tour starting in September, I think. And that's about it for this year and the next year is still open we don't yeah, yeah, know yeah. but I, I truly hope that we can somehow make north america possible us too as well us and too. as soon as possible it's been way too long for us you know since we've played there exactly. at least in one way or another have have at least a festival or something that we can play and exactly exactly awesome yeah. well tony that's all very exciting i am I wish you guys the best with the release of this album. For people like myself that were a teenager in the mid-90s, listening to the album kind of just hits us back to those days as well, which is super <laughs> exciting. So I am excited to see you guys play a lot of these new songs when you play live. 
um, and uh, um, having heard the album, I know all the fans will be super happy once uh, March comes around. Thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. And uh, all the best up there in the very cold Finnish wastelands and snow. Thank you very much, Jasper. It was my pleasure. I wish you all a happy 2024. Make it a successful one and happy. You are awesome for watching this video. Click right here to see more content like it and subscribe to the channel.